Have you guys tried the new Ariana Grande drink? Cause it's hella good. Cloud nine? Cloud whatever. I'll insert it down below. It's hella good. That first sip sells the drink. <laughs> y'all check this hair out this video is about to be bomb stay tuned hi guys welcome back to merce ladies this is a new video uh, i'm gonna keep this video short and sweet i know i've been gone for three weeks but thank you guys for my last video to this video i am up 20 subscribers you guys are liking the wig video um so in this video to basically go over um this wig and my curly hair wig routine I guess haven't decided what I'm going to name this video yet but um it's definitely going to be about how I maintain um my curly hair um wigs so this is a wig that I actually reviewed on my channel um so I'll link the video in the description box down below I have reviewed this wig already and it has been four-ish months since I've had this unit um and it's in rotation with my other hair that I like to wear um but this is like a fun easy day summer since it's getting hotter out here it's easier for me to wear and maintain curly hair even though I really love my kinky straight um but it's just easier to go to class in it's not high maintenance i don't have to worry about you know me getting hot and sweating and like creating kinks i like the curls on this unit um when they're like when they look like this when they look wet um so i'm going to go into how i um perfect this look and do this look every day um so looking in the mirror I never bleached this lace I never tinted it it's just came to me darker which is fine when I don't have makeup on it's cool but when I have makeup on I have to um which I'm gonna call it I have to get my concealer and um you know do the best I can with blending my because I have no um desire to bleach this wig the lace I'm pretty satisfied with the lace um this wig does update on this wig though it does shed a lot and I've recently like trimmed the ends just a little bit because they were just like frizzy and unmanageable like and I was like I just need I'll just trim it this came 22 inches it's probably still some parts of it are still 22 I did I just had to go through though because I'm just like when I'm finger detailing tangling the hair and I don't even brush through this hair I finger detangle it as if it's my I treat it like it's my hair it's just a lot of shedding but luckily it's a lot of hair um so it really hasn't really made a difference in the density of the hair but this is just a pre-warning that this hair does shed a lot every morning um or whenever i'm about to go to class um first thing i grab to get this show on the road is my 360 water bottle um i believe i've shown this before but i'm not really sure you can purchase this on amazon this one in particular i got from sally's um, and the 360 is really cool because you literally, <laughs> this is like my makeup towel, so it might look dirty, but this is like, you can pump it up and it'll just spray it for you. Um, it's really easy. It's really simple to fill it up. All you do is twist it and then, yeah, put water in it and it's ready to go. I usually drench my hair and I get the hair, um, pretty wet. That's usually what I do before I put anything in the hair. Prep this hair for humidity so that it's able to last all day. Um, I like wearing my curls like this in the wig. Um, they look just as beautiful dry to me, but um, it's just easier maintenance wise and detangling wise for me to just, just wet it. And how you make, and how it stays wet looking all day 
without frizzing up or anything when I do this the right way and I take my time and do it. Um, I like to use this. So this is humidity control. This keeps the curls nice and soft um, and it smells good as well. So I put that on after I do the water because even with your natural hair, after you apply water, keep the moisture in the hair follicles, you need to seal it with an oil. So this is the oil that I'm using um, to seal. Now, I don't use this every time I do my hair, um, but this is sometimes something I use. Now, I have always used this, I've used, been using this product since I was a little kid. It's like a leave-in conditioner for when you have braids and keeps your braids looking fresh and smelling good. Sometimes I use this because it helps with, also it helps with your scalp itching. So I know sometimes, you know, when you're wearing the wig, depending on how long, you know, me, I keep, I won't wash my hair for like a month because it'll, it'll be braided up and if my scalp starts itching like this helps soothe your scalp and it also helps with keeping the hair smelling good nice and soft and conditioned if anything i use this once a week um because a little goes a long way and it really stays in the hair the main product that literally keeps the hair looking wet all day long and is the official sealant are y'all ready? I need to hear a drum roll. <laughs> that was a weak drum roll. Aloe, aloe gel. This is, um, this has been my secret. This aloe gel has been my secret. Um, so if I was to put regular gel on this, it's gonna be crunchy and not moving. It doesn't take away from you know the movement the hair moves um it keeps the hair looking shiny i feel it feels extremely healthy as well and aloe everyone knows that you could use aloe for literally damn near everything all i do is just mix it together here and i just there's already um it's already in there so it's not really gonna you're not really gonna be able to see but this is what the hair looks up close in the morning time, I only have time to use my aloe and my water. So, like this morning in particular, the only thing that I use today in this hair that you're seeing is these two things. This can be a little pricey though. I think I paid, almost paid $10 for this. I think it came up to like $8 or something with a coupon. The aloe is only like, this is from Walmart. I think it was only maybe $4. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe for more. And let me know how you guys feel about this hair, this four month old hair.